so uh, I'm not sure how many of you guys are going to relate to this one. Reasons why Dan's a fail! Yay! So yesterday I was making a sandwich and... Oh, where did I put the butter? And at that moment, I realised that these things happen to me more often than they should. Like, would you be surprised to know that I've actually had multiple near-death experiences in my life? Probably not, actually. Do you want to know what I think? I think God hates me. See, there may be this story of when I was about six and I was at a friend's house and accidentally set a Bible on fire. Long story. Basically, my theory is that if God exists, everything that's happened in my life is his fault. And as you guys know, I have a hard enough time just living in my seemingly permanent mental state of existential crisis without actually having to avoid death on a daily basis. But he's not trying to kill me. Oh no, he's just messing with me. He's trying to see how close he can get. Like, is it just me or every single time you try to cross a road, this happens? Well, what a fine day to be crossing the road. <laughs> Could this road be any clearer? Oh, it's ages away, I can cross. Whoa, is she speeding up? Huh? Oh, I guess it's safe now. What the hell? Are you serious? Right, I am crossing this road. Every goddamn time. Multiple things have happened to me. When I was six, I nearly choked on a bald sweet. When I was 12, I fell off a cliff near a beach. Nothing to add to that, really. I fell off a cliff. When I was with my last girlfriend in Paris, I nearly got hit by a train. When I was 16, I fell asleep on a motorbike. The list goes on. But the closest I think I ever came was a couple of months ago. Let me set the scene. Oh wow, yeah, that's great, Dan. Better. I was in London, walking on my way to a train station on a cold, dark winter's night when lots of commuters had just finished their day's work. And round the corner, there was a street performer. Now, it just so happened that on this day, this specific street performer's hidden talent happened to be juggling flaming knives. You probably know where this is going. So everyone's walking past and some people stop to go, ooh, wow, this is cool, and... It just so happens that the exact moment that I walk in front of him, he drops the flaming knives. Now I'm not talking about some little dinner knives, no, I'm talking about bloody two foot long blazing machetes raining from the sky. All of the commuters completely freaked out and were screaming and stuff. I, I on the other hand, went into frickin' Matrix mode, dodging these things as they flew past my head. When I say that, I obviously mean I looked like this. <laughs> and you know, don't get me wrong, but surely when someone has chosen their profession and dedicated their entire life to juggling flaming knives, surely the one thing that they should be all right at is not dropping the flaming knives. Jesus Christ. Sorry, that's probably not helping. <sighs> but I don't know, like, have you guys had any funny near-death experiences? Tell me in the comments. What is this video? But yeah, it might make me feel better and be pretty funny. But if all of this is just God trying to get me back for the fireplace incident, then I think it's time to let it go. Bye. Oh no you don't. Welcome to the after video bit. The part of my video is where the video has technically finished but it hasn't because I'm still talking about something. Hello. Firstly, if you haven't heard from all the YouTubers moaning about it recently, last week basically a really clever guy at YouTube sat on a giant delete button that they have somewhere and everybody lost like a billion subscribers. So some of you guys that are subscribed to my channel might have been randomly unsubscribed even though you might not have wanted to be. So I've put a link in the description and if you could just click on that right now to confirm whether you're still subscribed to me, that would be lovely. However, if you are just a person creeping on Tumblr or Twitter or something like that, then you should subscribe to my videos. You totally should, because then you can find out when my new videos come out, and if you're logged in, you can comment on my videos. Seriously, us guys have a crazy party in the comments. You're missing out. But yes, you can either click on the subscribe button up there or this colorful box that just appeared, and I will see you guys soon. Wow, seriously, Dan, could your butt be hanging out more?